What do you get when you combine the properties of oatmeal, coconut shell activated charcoal, and African black soap? You get a powerhouse cleansing bar. Grab a snack and a drink, guys, and watch me work to create this dynamic coconut shell activated charcoal African black soap facial bar. Good day, good day, good morning, good morning, and welcome to my channel. I am Natasia, and we're getting straight into making this coconut shell activated charcoal African black soap bar. <laughs> now say that five times fast, I dare you. <laughs> Let's start by grinding our oats as fine as we can get it, unless you like the ungrounded look of oats in your bar, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. And guys, no instant oatmeal, please. None of that stuff that comes in that pre-packaged bags and has all those flavors. Just, just plain, either old-fashioned oats or plain oats. No, or steel cut, no whistles, no bells, no name brand. Just plain oats. I am Natasia, and since you landed here, you know you are always welcome here. Just, just keep positive vibes and good energy, and, and we good. We, <laughs> we good. I want to recognize my existing subscribers, boy. You are, you are awesome, and I want to recognize my new subbies. Yay! Hey, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, and my new viewers, you are awesome and phenomenal as well. And I appreciate you watching, and I value all of you guys' time. So just thank you. I'm, I know I'm extra, but you know I gotta recognize. And some of you have been leaving some great feedback and comments in the comment section. And, oh, I absolutely love that. I love that so much. And I know some of you might be asking, why is the title of this daggone soap so long? I mean, daggone. Well, you know, it's extra. I'm extra. The soap is extra. Extra special. So we need an extra special title, okay? So let's get into the video. I decided to add my oats to my oils before I add the lye and it's because I wanted to f incorporate the oats better and I wanted to finally ground it even more and as you can see I've also added aloe vera gel just in case you have not made soap before all of the oils and butters that I use in my soap are pre-measured I do have a recipe so it's not I'm not taking random amounts except for the aloe I, aloe vera gel I blended it I drank I strained it and I added it and I that I did about two or three ounces of that but overall I have a recipe that I'm following and maybe I'll do a tutorial and then we can create a recipe together and I'll do a video on that if you're interested let me know And here is the star of the show, African Black Soap, which on its own have great properties of rewarding your skin. It lathers by itself, so it's dynamic all on its own. And I do have two videos where I go into detail about its origin and, and how it's made. So please watch my turmeric and ginger video and my lavender and vanilla African soap video. There I discuss the soap in more detail. But the process of making this soap is ancestral and has been made similarly for centuries in Africa. More specifically, its origins are in West Africa and is made with some ingredients such as ash, cocoa pods, roasted plantain skin, palm kernel oil, shea butter to name a few. Right now you see me adding, I added about 5 ounces of African black soap into my soap batter and I'm trying to blend it as fine as possible because I want it evenly distributed throughout my soap loaf. I'm sectioning off about 15 to 20 ounces of the soap batter because this small portion is what I'm going to add the activated charcoal or coconut activated charcoal to the batter. You might be asking what's the big deal about activated charcoal or activated carbon? By the way, could be used and the term could be used interchangeably. Well, it's porous 
and toxins and molecules sticks to its surface area. So you might see it used in emergency poison control and food poisoning. It helps to absorb the poison before it can be absorbed by the stomach. You may also see it in facial masks and toothpaste. Some people use it to brush their teeth. But the reason why I'm putting it in soap is so that the oil and dirt can bind to the coconut shell carbon or charcoal. And then when you wash off your skin, all of the oil and the dirt that's attached to the carbon or charcoal washes off. Can we just, can we just take a minute and look at this soap? Look at all the little specks in it. It just gives it this beautiful, natural look, this natural vibe to the soap itself. And when it cures, it looks even better. That African black soap, you got the oatmeal in there, you got the aloe vera in there. Oh my goodness, this soap right here. This soap right here. <laughs> so you're going to see me add the coconut, the activated uh, coconut charcoal powder and everything seems to be going well right okay number one I should not have added that much to it I only need a fourth of a teaspoon okay and number two I should have pre mixed this in oil so it can distribute better in the batter other than that uh, yeah of course something had to happen of course if you look to the left, you see that I pre-mixed it in oil already, and that's the consistency I really wanted. You don't want to risk it being patchy in the soap, so I like to pre-mix my activated charcoal in oil and then put it in the soap batter. So, you know, I left this mistake in here because it's fine. I'm human. We all human. None of us is perfect. If you feel you're perfect, then, you know, congratulations. I'm not perfect, and I'm not going to hide everything. I think it's important for you to see and you can recover from the mistakes, it's no big deal. Here you see me just adding a little design to the top, I didn't want it to be a square bar and I like my soap bars to be um, high top. I don't really care for like the regular square bars. I like it to be high top. In a second, you're going to see me spraying 99% alcohol on top of the soap loaf. And that's to prevent soda ash. It's like a soda ash is like a white ashy film that forms on the top of some soap loaves. And it's, it's the soap is fine. It's just aesthetically, we don't really care for that film so we spray alcohol on top to prevent that or we cover it and this is how it looks dry doesn't it look better than just a plain old top it's like a creative soap loaf it's just a creative soap it looks great now who's ready to cut the soap look at that look at the base look at the top are y'all ready Hold on to your butts. Let's see what we got. It was, yeah, it was a little, <laughs> I was struggling to cut it. But look at the soap. Yes, it don't have any crazy designs, but this is unscented and plain. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Look at the little ingredients in the base of the soap and the top is chock full of activated coconut shell carbon or charcoal, look, 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 look at all those tiny ingredients at the bottom. That's all the plantain skin, the roasted plantain skin, the, the history, baby, the history is in this soap, but it looks great. It looks great and it looks even better when I bevel it. Look at the tops, look at the tops. This, this soap is great. This soap looks great. And if you don't think it look great, well, you know, <laughs> to each its own, I think it's beautiful. Here you're gonna see me bevel the soap. And guys, watch me bevel the soap and rock out this soap. Look, what? What? Professional looking. This looks great. I mean, 
come on, if you're going to put a soap in your bathroom to use, why not make it look presentable? Like, when you cook food, do you just plop food on a plate? Or do you try to make it look nice and presentable? Like, trust me, when I make food, it's like you can take a picture of it and put it in a magazine. And that's how I feel about this soap. It's beautiful. It's great for your skin. It has aloe vera in it. It has your oats in it. And why not make a beautiful soap out of something that's natural and beautiful? What? It needs some cleaning, but what? What? That's, that is great. That is, you guys can do this. Everybody can do it. You can put your own creativity in any product you make, guys. We all have those inborn talents. And I stamped it. What does that say, though? I stamped it with something, but I can't see it. What does that say? It says subscribe to your girl's channel if you haven't already. Subscribe. And if you're asking why, what you mean why? What you mean? I got more videos coming. I'm giving you like history of all the ingredients. I'm not boring. I mean, why not subscribe? Now I have other videos that's not all African soap videos, but you know what? You guys help calm me down. This is so therapeutic. Now, some of you might be wondering if the black part makes the, the lather black. So I wanted to demonstrate um, the, do a lather test on the soap. Now this soap needs to cure for about four weeks, four to six weeks. This is about a week old, but look at that. Look at the bubbles that comes off of the soap. Now some people don't like a lot of bubbles. Some people want subtle bubbles, but I do demo a way that you can get more bubbles out of your soap. And if you haven't seen my seven ways to lather video, you need to check that out. But I'm going to show you here how using a loofah will expand those lather, the lather of your soap and make it more plushy if you're that type of person that like that. Look at the lather and you're using less of your soap product so you can extend it for a longer period of time especially you spending coin on these natural products look at the lather this is so awesome look at it it's beautiful you made it this far you know how I feel about people who watch the whole video you're phenomenal you're awesome and phenomenal I want you to have a great week you I want you to have a great week protect your energy stay positive and thank you so much for watching my channel i value your time and check out some more of my videos see you soon guys